Oh my God, I'm killing it. Hi, I'm Charlie, an ordinary athlete trying to change that one skill at a time. I've been wondering something for a while. Is it possible to teach myself how to shoot left-handed? One of the main reasons I've been curious about this is Ben Simmons. A lot of NBA media members, most notably Kevin O'Connor, have said that he should switch to righty. So I'm curious about that. How long would that take? Years? Months? So I wanted to get out there and answer this question. Can I genuinely make some real improvement in as little as one hour? Before I start, I'd like to point out a few things. One, I was a pretty decent shooter in high school. I shot like 35% from three. I think that'll be a big advantage here because I'll know what adjustments are correct and what feels wrong. Two, I've never gone out and actually practiced shooting lefty, so I do think I'll be starting from something near square one. The way I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna shoot 10 free throws, then I'm gonna shoot five threes from five spots, then I'm gonna train for an hour and then do the same thing over again and see if I've made any improvements. Let's see. Five threes from the court. So when I was shooting these shots and when I watched this footage back, I noticed two things about my motion and the shot in general that I wanted to change. Let's see if you can see what I felt. One for five from the corner. Now finally, five from this court. So 5 for 25 from 3, which is not great, but it's not the worst thing in the world, although I did bank in 2. Uh, now on to free throws. And before I go into that, I just want to point out that there was a dude doing nunchucks in the park, and he screams really loud when I'm shooting my first free throw. I just wanted to let you guys know that I wasn't, like, grunting a lot to shoot my first free throw. Five for 10 from the line is not bad. I'm not mad at that at all. So now onto the training. When I reviewed the footage of the free throws and the three pointers, I did notice two things. One, I wasn't using line. my legs enough at all. I was barely, barely using them. And two, it was coming off my hands a little weird sometimes, so most of the shots were, were missing left. So I made two small adjustments, which were use my legs much more, and I switched my ball position just a little bit with my hands. Not much, very subtle. Um, but mostly what I did over the next hour is I just got comfortable. I took short shots. I took long shots. I took shots off the dribble. I took threes. I took all types of things just to get comfortable. And honestly, I think that's what helped me the most. All right, I got one hour going on the clock. Uh, I'm not going to film the whole time because I think my camera battery would die. I'll try to film some of it. Um, but I'm going to do some form shooting. Uh, and then I'm just going to kind of just keep shooting, practicing all that jazz, and then I'll meet you back here in an hour for the final test.
Um, I'm going to do some form shooting. I can't tell if this is in focus. First thing I realized is I was not using enough legs. I was just going straight arms. And I think that'll actually be helpful. So I can't tell. Because I think my motion looks a little different now. I don't know if you can see this, but about 20 minutes in, and I feel so much better. Like, honestly, night and day. One thing I cannot do is shoot off the dribble. If I take a pull up, it, it, it looks horrible. Shoot off the... It, it looks horrible. At the very least, it looks horrible when I'm going left. If I'm going right, it's okay. But here, I'll show you left. Again. If... I don't feel confident if that looks as bad to you as it does to me. It feels horrible. So I'd like to explain a little bit more of what I did and how I kind of structured the, the hour. In the first 15 minutes, I tried to identify issues. I wasn't using Bad my legs enough, the ball placement was a little weird, so I tried to fix those, and I was practicing with a lot of intention and really focused on those issues, trying to fix those. In the second 15 minutes, I just tried a bunch of things. I tried not to think too much about the ball placement or the legs or whatever. I was just trying to get comfortable and feeling my way out of it. In the third 15 minutes, I mostly did form shooting and free throws because my arm and my wrist got a little tired. So I just wanted to give myself a little bit of a break. In the fourth 15 minutes, I really just tried to mentally prepare and I extended the range out a little bit. So I was taking more threes, more long twos, um, and really just trying to feel confident before the final test. I'm just gonna do a quick warm up now and then the final, the final test. Last time I made five free throws and I made five threes total. Five for 25 and five for 10. One thing, I'm gonna keep it recording the whole time so you guys know that I'm not making cuts um, and making it seem like I improved more than I did. Uh, some goals with this, I really just want no bad or fewer bad misses. Um, I'd like to make more than five threes, um, but mostly I just want to miss long and short if I'm going to miss. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. I really want to keep making videos just like this one. Five shots, five spots, no cuts. Um, let's do it.
my first spot. Uh, can you see? All right, I'm just setting it up a little different. As you can see from the wing, perfect. I'm killing it. All right. I don't even know. Was that three for five or four for five? I'm not sure. Okay. Those kids walked in front. That's okay. All right. I think that's good. I'm mailing them. Oh wait, the sun's over here, so I have to uh, record from this one. Okay, final two spots.
I actually cannot believe it. I might have tripled. I don't know. I the first three, I definitely went over 50%, which is bonkers, considering I went five for 25. I'm feeling good. I really don't know what to make of these results. To be clear, I'm thrilled. I'm absolutely thrilled. I did not think it was possible to go from five for 25 to 13 for 25. That feels crazy. But I do think it might be a little bit deceiving. I don't think I'm like game ready. I don't think I could pull up to a pickup game and like get hot from three lefty. But I do think that this shows with even an hour of practice, you can legitimately make improvements and get better. So thanks for watching. Keep shooting. Try to get better every day.